All right, you guys, thank you all for tuning in once again. Welcome to Neoville, to the old subscribers and also the new subscribers. Um, for today, we are going to be doing a remake of Panda's Express Sweet Fire Chicken in a pineapple bowl with jasmine rice and pork pot stickers. And for our ingredients, of course, we have the pork pot stickers, we have the jasmine rice, we have our sweet peppers, we have the Panda Express sweet chili sauce. We have our cornstarch. We're going to be seasoning our chicken with the adobo all-purpose seasonings. We have our pineapple, our onions. We have our chicken tenderloins cut. We have our flour and our eggs. So stay tuned. You are going to enjoy this menu. All right, everybody. So we are back. Um, what we did, we went ahead and cut up, we washed and cut up our chicken. And we cut up our chicken in about, um, I would say one inch pieces so they can all cook evenly. We also cut up our vegetables, our onions, and our different colored peppers. Uh, one thing I wanted to add that I did not put in the beginning of the video um, was I'm adding smoked paprika and crushed red peppers. And the reason why I'm doing crushed red peppers is because I went out trying to find um, the hot uh, chili paste. And I think because of the coronavirus and everything that's going on, the shelves are kind of bare of the normal stuff that we would kind of find on a daily basis. And that chili, um, that chili paste would have took this up a little notch and gave a, a kick. So instead of that, we're just going to um, improvise and just use some um, crushed red pepper. You're going to go ahead and add some adobo season. And with this adobo, you don't have to add any salt. It has plenty of sodium um, already in it. But we want to give our chicken some flavor. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where um, people have done this recipe, but they don't actually season their chicken. I like my chicken seasoned, um, even when I bite into it. So we're just going to kind of season our chicken and then we're going to set it to the side. Um, and I used, I would say about a tablespoon of the adobo seasoning, um, probably a teaspoon of the red pepper and maybe a teaspoon of the smoked pepper. Um, next, we're going to cut up our pineapples. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Let me get this glove off and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so we are back and ready to cut up our pineapple into a boat or a bowl, you may say. You're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a sharp knife and also a spoon. So here's what you wanna do. You wanna turn your pineapple on its side and start in the middle. Then turn it around in the same place you cut there, you do here. All right. So the hardest thing to cut would be like this the flower part up here. And so now what you want to do after you cut your pineapple. You want to just kind of go around the pineapple. Make sure you don't cut too far in the flesh of the pineapple. And then And the easy way, because you want to take that core out, 
is cut around that core. And then what you wanna do is take your spoon and pop them out. We're gonna finish getting this, these pineapples cut and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, we are back and we've hollowed out our pineapples. And so that we are going to be able to stuff them um, with our food. We took in out the pineapples. We also removed the core off some of these. We also ate some of these. So um, next we're getting ready to get started on our rice and getting our chicken pieces fried up. Hey guys, so next we're going to get started. We're gonna go ahead and put our rice on. And for the jasmine rice, for every uh, one cup of rice, you need one and a half cups of water. So um, we have two cups of the jasmine rice and we added that to three cups of water. And now what we want to do is just put the top on it and you can add salt in it if you want to. Um, but right now we just wanna put the top on it, put it on high, let it come to a boil. Then we're going to turn it down and let it simmer for 15 minutes. All right, everybody. So while our rice is cooking, we want to go ahead and get started on frying our chicken. Um, and what we want to do so we have our cornstarch, we have our egg. I did add a little water to the egg to kind of thin it out. And we also have our flour. So what we want to do um, is add our chicken to the bowl. We want to take the egg and just add the egg in. We get our chicken coat it in this egg mixture. Then we want to take our cornstarch. And once we have that done, you guys, we'll take our coated chicken and we'll put it in the flour. And we're gonna come over here to the walk. So we'll be right back. And I added about, that's about one cup of vegetable oil. We're just gonna start adding our chicken. And so guys, at this point, we just wanna get our chicken browned up and crispy. And after we get our chicken, all our chicken cooked and browned, we'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm also doing two different type of bowls. My husband didn't want the sweet fire chicken. He just wanted vegetables and rice. So I'm using some of the vegetables from the sweet fire chicken. And I also added some mushrooms that I'm sauteing um, to put with his rice. So we'll be doing two different type of pineapple bowls. So um, I'm working on this while the chicken is still getting done. So we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so... We just finished pulling out the last of our chicken. Turned out really good um, from the wok. We drained the wok, threw out that grease, and now we're going to stir fry our vegetables and our pineapples and get our sauce ready to throw the chicken back in and cover. A tad bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna add some butter to that. Now we're just going to add in our veggies. And while that's cooking, I hope y'all can hear me. We're going to turn this way. And this is the same oil that I use to stir fry my husband's veggies. We're gonna keep that oil in here and we're gonna add our pot stickers. And guys, the reason why they call them pot stickers because they will stick to the pot. Um, let's put them flat side down. And what you wanna do 
you want to add about a tablespoon of olive oil in here and let these start frying. Um, this pan, I'm going to put a half a cup of water and then I'm going to cover it for eight minutes. You basically, you're following the instructions that's actually on the bag. And if you follow it, they will work out. They will stick. So make sure you have a good spatula handy. And so we wanna add a half a cup of water. And what we want is this to start boiling. And once it start boiling, guys, you put it on medium high heat, put the lid over it for eight minutes. And we'll come back to that. Now back over here. You want to go ahead and add your pineapple. All right, you guys, so we let our pineapples cook, get warm through for a couple of minutes. Now, we want to add our salt. And I think I'm going to do about a fourth of a cup. Now, what we want to do is add our chicken. We're going to check on our pot stick. All right, guys, after about eight minutes and your pot stickers have been in the water and the oil, now you want to cook them until the water cooks out of your pot stickers. So, and guys, mine are a little dark because I used the same oil that I did the mushrooms and vegetables in, but it's okay. But we'll be right back after they get done. All right, guys, so I'm removing all my pot stickers out. They got done, so everything is done and we're getting ready to plate, so we will see you back in a second. All right, you guys, so everything is done. And so what we're getting ready to do now is plate up our two pineapple bowls. We're doing two different ones. So I'm going to put the rice in this one. We want to put a little bit of soy sauce on our rice. And then we are going to take the vegetables. For this bowl, I'm going to put the rice in one corner. Then, on the other side, we are going to add our chicken. Then for our pot stickers. All right, guys, so there you have it. This is our remake of the Panda Express Sweet Fire Chicken with Jasmine Rice. Over here we have sauteed vegetables with Jasmine Rice under it. We have our pork pot stickers. I hope you all enjoyed this video and this food. We actually, we really wanna thank you all for tuning in. I also wanna appreciate everybody who has now subscribed. I think we, within a couple of weeks, We've added about 46 more subscribers. So I just want to tell y'all, thank you all. I appreciate you all for y'all support. Hit that notification button. Share these videos. Tell your friends because we are cooking it up at Neoville. Thank you all for tuning in once again. We love you all and you all be safe. <laughs>